Hi, this is Adam with Houndify. And today we're going to be talking about the debugging section, where we can debug audio and text queries, as well as the request info and response JSON. Here we are within houndify.com, and I've selected my client and gone to the debugging section. It's important to note to respect your user's privacy and adhere to the Houndify API agreement, which includes things like not storing or using the recordings for purposes other than debugging. But what exactly can you do with this debug tool? Well, you can review up to the last 10 queries in the past 24 hours. You can click to refresh the list or have it automatically update every minute. You could also toggle between audio and text queries. Each query block will have the transcription, the response, the date, a server-generated ID, the ability to play the audio, display if it's an audio or text query, it shows the sample rate, which should be 16 or 8 kilohertz, and the audio format, which should be speaks or wave. And you could view more details, which will include things like, again, the server-generated ID, a user ID and device ID, which can be specified by the developer, the audio length, the request info JSON, and the response JSON. So what are a few cases where the debugging section can be useful? First off, it can be used to determine if the audio source has issues. For example, here is a proper audio stream. What time is it in Denver? On the other hand, there could be issues with the audio source. For example, here's an audio source which had distortion. This will negatively impact the transcription and it may be due to either hardware or software issues. Another example would be if the actual audio source was silent. This one was complete silence. And if we were to show more details, we could see that it did in fact have an audio length, but it may have been that there was also a hardware or software issue. On the other hand, we may have an example where it sends audio, but it only sends a length of zero seconds. This could be due to an issue with sending the audio stream. Finally, there could be an issue with the audio that's sent altogether, either due to an improper sampling rate, audio format, or potentially a bad header in the audio file. Another benefit of the debugging tool is the ability to investigate the request info and response JSON. For example, we may have an individual in San Francisco who queried for restaurants near them, but got back results that were for Miami instead. Upon inspection of the request info JSON, we see that the latitude and longitude was not set correctly. If you look down below, here is the proper response that we get that gives us results for San Francisco, and that was because the latitude and the longitude was set correctly. These are just a few examples of how you can use the debugging tool to view audio and text queries, playback and investigate audio issues, and view the request info and response JSON. To learn more, have a look for yourself at houndify.com.